Counting to three billion four hundred and thirty three million nine hundred and eighty four thousand six hundred and ninety two naira sixty six cover. Paragraph four one five of the financial regulation states, and I quote The federal government requires all officers responsible for expenditure to exercise due economy. Money must not be spent merely because it has been voted. End of quote. Audit observed that the Ruga project was flagged off on Thursday, 21st of May 2019, but was later suspended through a presidential directive given on Tuesday, 3rd July 2019. 95 payment vouchers were raised and paid from Ruga Intervention Fund between 1st of August 2019 and 13th September 2019, totaling 3,433,000,000. 984,692 naira 66 cover. The above payments were initiated and paid without due process after the presidential directive suspended the Ruga project. The above anomalies could be attributed to weaknesses in the internal control system at the Federal Ministry of Agri and Rural Development. Risk loss of government fund. Two, difficulty in funding budget. Management response. The action is regretted. It is also being investigated. Recommendation of the Auditor General. Permanent, the Permanent Secretary is requested to, one, furnish reason for paying the Ruga Intervention Fund after its, after its suspension. Recover the sum of 3,433,984,692,966 naira cover and remit same to the Treasury. Forward evidence of refund to the Public Accounts Committees of the National Assembly. Otherwise, apply sanctions relating to irregular payments and payment for jobs not executed, specified in paragraph 3106 and 3104, sub 1 to 3 of the financial regulations, respectively. The 8th is Ruga House as well. Issue number 8. Misapplication of Ruga project fund amounting to 375,785,893 naira 75 cover. Paragraph 417 of the financial regulation states, and I quote, expenditure shall strictly be classified in accordance with the estimates and vote must be applied only to the purpose for which the money is provided. Expenditure incorrectly charged to a vote shall be disallowed. End of quote. Furthermore, paragraph 415 of the financial regulation states, and I quote, the federal government requires all officers responsible for expenditure to exercise due economy. Money must not be spent merely because it has been voted. End of quote. Audit observed that the sum of 375,785,000 895 naira 75 cobo was paid to some individuals and corporate organization from Ruga funds. The above amount was paid through 13 payment voucher by the ministry. And the payment included 202 million, 160 million paid for transportation and other expenses in support of victims of armed banditry in Zamfara State and advance for sensitization and advocacy visit to, to state governors, respectively. The above anomalies could be attributed to weaknesses in the internal control system at the Federal Ministry of Agri and Rural Development. Risk, loss of government fund. Two, money could be paid without getting to the final beneficiaries. Management response. The matter is under investigation. Recommendation. The Permanent Secretary is requested to furnish reason for making payment from Ruga Fund during the period of suspension of the operation of the fund. Two, account for 375,785,893 Naira 75 cover. Three, remit the sum of 375,785,000 Naira 75 cover to the Treasury. Forward evidence of refund. 
to the Public Accounts Committees of the National Assembly. Otherwise, apply sanctions relating to irregular payments and poor cash management specified in paragraph 3106 and 3115 of the financial regulations respectively. That is the last issue, sir. So we have before us issues uh, 7 and 8. Mm, it has to do with Ruga. Where is the Ruga? Is the Ruga in B Do you know Bisichi Janta? You don't know? Okay. Ah. We don't know where the Ruga is. And um, you, uh, you want to? Yes, of course. The palm sex should go to the five award and quickly address us on that so that because it has been resolved and let us. Okay, I thought you would be giving the leave of. Uh, no, I'm not yet. No, yeah, but no, on this seven and eight, let him. Let him. That's what I'm saying. He should, he should, he should take us to the, to the uh, response. With the leave of the committee of that time, I mean, it was a nationwide issue. Uh, the farmer had that crisis it was so huge, um, and that was what led to one of the proposed solutions. There were several. One, this Ruga was just one of them that everybody, the ministry thought was one that would be all encompassing and they would be able to resolve the problem. And it was duly voted and approved. And of course, with the urgency to resolve those crises, which was leading to, uh, leading to loss of lives, the ministry was quite proactive and uh, uh, started working on that, on that issue. However, uh, there was also outcry due to lack of understanding and due to political issues which led to the pronouncement that to douse the tension in the country, then that led to the pronouncement that, okay, it is going to be stopped because there was a lot of misunderstanding of what the project was about. You know, and that was what led to that pronouncement, which the uh, officer of the, the general is claiming. However, the ministry had gone a long way with committed contracts and all of that because we were in a hurry to try to resolve the problem. Uh, and despite that initial stoppage announcement, Re remonstration was made to His Excellency, Mr. President, at the time to show all the activities and all of that. And he later, and he said the ministry should go ahead, and he later committed it in writing, which we have attached. If you look at pages 506 to 508, uh, presidential uh, uh, leave to the ministry to continue and complete those projects so as to avoid, again, litigation to government on committed contracts and all that. And that's why the ministry went ahead to complete those ones and thereafter stopped. And I can assure you that those ones that were done, the facilities remain where they are and are being utilized by those communities. Thank you, sir. The president stopped it, and the president said you should go, you should continue. But the president has no powers of the appropriation. It is the National Assembly. The fact of the matter that the president has written you does not give you that latitude to go and, 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 and pay money. We are talking about... 3.8 billion put together. Uh, and, and you said from the onset that investigation is going on. Uh, look at some of these uh, terms. Uh, evidence of uh, reconnaissance survey for Ruga. What does that tell you? Recogniz uh, rec uh, uh, reconnaissance of Ruga for Ruga. Uh, payment of 196 million. Uh, sensitization for Ruga. 160 million. What does that tell you as a Nigerian that you have paid 160 million era for sensitization? For who? Where? These are some of the issues. You know, when you see some of these things, as far as some of us are concerned, this is a package to, to give an idea that this money must be spent at all costs. This money must be spent, and this money must be shared. So, 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 so for, for me, it is important we look at the letter from the president, which has no authority as far as we are concerned. Our authority is, of course, the appropriation at that material time. And, 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 and I, I don't know, the chairman of the Agri-Committee is here. Uh, if, if he was the chairman in 2019, 
the, of that committee. This is also a, 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 a disservice to the committee because these are things that one could easily pick it up. Recognizance, recognizance, uh, socialization of this stupendous amount of money. It doesn't go anywhere. These surrogate issues are still on. The, the, the permanent secretary is saying yes. There was a hula balu about the Ruga hardest. Does this stop it? Is it stopped? It eh? It, it is it stopped. So, so, so. Uh, it's not. You are from Kwara State, right? Yes. <laughs> you are from where? On those states. On those states. Okay, so there is no guy there. Uh, anyway, I, I think um, our distinguished senior colleague has said it all. The president directed and redirected. Of course, the president could do anything within his powers. But as far as appropriation is concerned, the powers entirely, exclusively in Nigeria lie with the National Assembly. And whoever spends a dime without the blessings of the National Assembly in all ramifications must account for that Naira. And so Federal Ministry of Agriculture, as, as it was there, and rural development, now food security must account for 3.8 billion naira. We, for going, for, for going against uh, the rules of engagement as far as your relationship as a uh, as an entity with that of the national assembly this this was budgeted appropriately budgeted by the national as a matter of fact it was when the budget was made public that the uproar started so it's not like the, we just did something it, it was a budgeted uh, project duly by the national assembly and what I said, the ministry did was to start implementation speedily. But upon the uh, public availability of this budget, and then people started, you know, saying conjectures and whatever. And when the uproar became so loud, was when the decision was made that okay, maybe you should stop this thing for now. So it's not like we went to do something outside of the budget. No. So it was it was appropriately budgeted, Your Excellency. Yeah, it was appropriate, appropriately budgeted. Yes, sir. But illegally or wrongly utilized.